Alrighty, it is time for day three of playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu version. Uh, I'm... Little news, if you're watching this playthrough on YouTube, also hit subscribe, hit follow on Twitch, you know, click like, leave a comment, all that jazz. Little catch up, everything you will have seen me do in the day two video was sadly lost. Learn from me and save your game. For some reason this game, being on a mobile console, doesn't have autosave built into it. I don't know how that's a thing, but apparently is. So we're gonna get to continue here from, I was able to get caught up from where we were last, and I even got a few more Pokemon. I was able to catch a second Charmander in, in the cave when I had to redo the entire long cave. So that's a nice upside, I feel. Um, but yes, we are still, we're back in Lavender Town, so I got us back to Lavender Town. I even was able to uh, open up a little bit more of the map than I had last time. So I was able to get to Saffron City on Celadon City. Um, oddly enough, I can't figure out my way back to like the original zones. I don't know why. It seems like I can't go back like... When I'm, like, over here in uh, Cerulean, I go west, there seems to be no way to get up onto the road to go back. And I was trying to go for a while, but then I did find a spot there with a whole bunch. I got some sand shrews. I got some mankeys. I got a bunch. So, you can see all the sand shrews here. Let me sort this. Species name, yes. Thank you for the sorting. Uh, so we got, look at how many Sanchers I caught. Uh, I catch a whole bunch of Rhyhorns. Uh, we've got an army of Psyducks. Got an extra Pikachu there. Um, I do have a Persian. Got four Onyxes now, whereas last time I only had two. I got a bunch of Mankeys. I'm pretty sure that's exclusive to Pokemon version. So at least I can give that to people. Um... I have so many Growliths. Caught a lot. Caught a lot. Uh, I was just going ham. Uh, Alright, so let me get my group back in order here. Because uh, I did kind of switch up the group trying to level up uh, some other characters. See, that's my second Charmander. Uh, trying to level up characters. So let me just get, let's get this back together here for the fires. Because I, I like... The ones I, I have. Like, I do like the, the group I had going there. So, let's add the Jigglypuff back. Because I do like traveling around with the Jiggly. The Jiggliest of the Puffs. Uh, let us get... Uh, who else did I have in my group? Oh, Pikachu's there. Oh, Pikachu's not in my group right now. Ha <laughs> ha Can't You can't not travel around with your Pikachu. Golly, that would be a travesty. Oh, yeah, Bulbo got Bulbo back up. And Cubone. Nice, and our group is back together. Technically, I got two fire Pokemon, so I don't know if I need the Growlithe, but I'm trying to level up the Growlithe to see if it turns into a mount eventually. Um, so I'll keep it in the group for now. I could always, like, monster level up something else, like, later. Um... Make sure I have... Alright, so I gotta pick up some more potions there. Uh, full heal, super potions, 37. Okay, so let's get some potions while we're here. I don't know... I, I didn't get a chance to research uh, what I have to do to be able to go into the ghost spot. So I gotta double check that again. Uh, <laughs> but golly, it's good to be back. I'm happy to be back. It was just such a, you know, such a disappointing moment when you realize everything, like a seven hour stream, and I lost everything from it. I even did some trades with Ice Wolf, you know, all those trades are gone, you know, it's like, oh, it just kills, kills your soul deep down, deep down in the soul, you know, <laughs> But yeah, we, we, at least I was able to catch up story and and game-wise. I was able to catch back up. So, you know, there's that. 
there's that. Okay, let's keep on going down. I gotta go into the whatchamacallit, into the tower. I gotta figure out what I have to do to be able to go in there and, uh, like, interact with the Pokebounds. Uh, I know, didn't they, like, tell me? One who speaks with spirits. I sense a lost spirit somewhere high in this tower. I'm pretty sure that Tukus told me, like, what I needed. You there! If you wish to know the truth behind the wandering spirits haunting this tower, well, even we channelers couldn't identify them. But maybe with the right tool, yes, perhaps a sylph scope might let one see the truth behind this mystery. Oh. Welcome back, Blue Fang. Hey, isn't this the Perry? But what are you doing here? No way, Piggy, your Pokemon did, did die or anything, right? Oh boy, I'm glad I was wrong this time. But maybe I should check that your Pokemon really are doing well with the battle. Doing good, Blue Fang, doing good. Happy to be back. Happy I was able to get everything set up in time. How was your week, man? Hope it was well. Pidgey Otto! Hey, man. I picked up the cute Pikachu outfit uh, before coming here. Uh, Sim with a zippy zap. I know he's got quick attacks, so I wanted to hit him quick, hit him hard. Hmm. Been playing Total War all day. Golly, man. Just gotta start calling it the All Day War, man. The Seven Punic Wars, man. Golly. Wait, what is he pulling out? I'll switch. What's where a second happened? <laughs> More like afternoon? Golly, man. It, it, I gotta check that game out. Total War. Don't they have, like, a lot of different expansions and stuff? I guess we're, I swear I remember them having, like, a lot of, like, Total War or something. Total War or something else. You know. Hit it with the Razor Leaf. Oh, I did find I was playing like to get caught back up. I was playing uh, this with um, ooh. I was playing this with the controllers on the system and uh, It's so much easier to catch Pokemon when you're not using the motion controls Like it is night and day like to the point that I was thinking about playing with my pro controller But it's not charged so I gotta get it charged, you know? Which is unbelievable, though. Unbelievable. I was like, what? I caught, I, I, like, I caught the first one. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. I was catching the Onyxes. I was going ham, you know? It was really like one of those moments where I was like, <laughs> this is some poopy, man. This is some poopy. Go Charmander. I should have went with fire from the get-go. Basically a lot of different games. Okay. I was thinking, I was thinking that. Golly. Yeah, I figure we'll, you know, play a little bit of this today. Uh, I'll probably call it a night a little bit early. I'm still so tired uh, from the, the holiday, you know, but then we'll be back to it tomorrow. Doing a thing. Bip. It's super effective. If I only use that the first try tired as well man really do you guys celebrate uh i don't think you do so thanksgiving right i mean i think the whole world does black friday though will i switch my poke i never read what he's about to pull out a jolteon yeah, let's see what char man uh char char here can do let's hit it let's hit it uk don't celebrate thanksgiving it's a shame. It's a good excuse to eat a lot of food. Trapped in a fiery vortex, yes! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go back to the bubble bubble. Back to the bubble bubble we go. But I think the whole world is, has Black Friday, though. Golly. I still can't believe. I was able to get everything together today and set up, you know. 
nice sandwich earlier. What'd you have on it? I had some leftover turkey, uh, some ham, and uh, I put a little bit of tomato sauce on it. I actually put that on a bagel. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Can't complain. Woo! Look at all the damage. Oh, man. Hit him with a vine whip. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tuna hock with some cheese? What's hock? Hit it with a leech seed. Get some heals. It's not going to do anything to me, bro. You're electricity and I am the air. What? You got to be kidding me. Really? Uh... At least I have a lot of these. Ugh. Golly. I'm not a big fan of tuna, though, but cool. If you like it, I know a lot of people like tuna, man. Can't go wrong. I'm hitting him with this. Kind of like chicken-ish meat. Also a bit like tuna. Okay. Okay. No doubt. I just don't like taste of fish. I've never been a fish person. <laughs> like, fish taste makes me, like, instill, like, you know, almost vomit. Like, if I eat something that tastes like fish, I'm like, <laughs> Oh, shoot. When we battle, we scared off that Cubo. You know Cubo, right, Piggy? It's a Pokemon that's always wearing a skull. That Cubo looked like it was searching for something. Maybe it's up on one of the higher floors. Uh-oh. Pikachu wants me. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, gosh. Seems in high spirits. Golly. But, yeah, I... What? What? There we go. There we go. So cute. So cute. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I gotta re-get all the Pokeballs and stuff in here. I don't know where to get the tool for this place. What did they call it again? Truth behind what honoring is to identify the right tool. Sylph scope. Let me Google this quick. Sylph Sylph scope. Hearing and Jerry Shad, Fire Red and Leaf Green. Mm. Bait test, let's go Pikachu. Game facts. There's a key item that you'll acquire in games plot progress. You need a Pokemon Tower Lavender Town, but it appears you've already been there if you're asking where it is. Just continue on through the game until you reach Celadon City. There's a secret rocket hang at, hideout hidden beneath the game corner. Being the rocket boss, and there will grant you the Silph Scope, so you can climb Pokemon Tower later. Oh, okay, so I don't do this tower yet, but I gotta go to Celadon City. Okay. We'll go through and defeat Giovanni. Okay. It's a good thing I already unlocked that. <laughs> I did a little bit of work over the week to get caught back up to where I am now. <laughs> so there's really nothing to do in Lavender Town. Oh, man. Thank you for the biddies, man. 871 bits till next badge. Close. It's like, that's a hop skip, man. That's a, oh, let me heal my Pokemon. It's a hop skip. Tell you. Tell you. Little hop, little skip. <laughs> you can't go wrong. Give my, heal my Pokemon. Seem to lose my bit badge. Uh, well, you got the VIP badge, so that might be why. You could go into the, like, uh, settings in the chat there and see if it's still there. 
It does, like, it weirdly sometimes Twitch shows things and then sometimes takes them away. VIP and sub one. Yeah, it might only let you have two, but I think you can get that third one. I already beat all these people, by the way. I did go around and I, I fought a lot of people, you know. Chat settings. Yeah, it's like a little uh, cog symbol in the chat box where you type in. There should be like cog symbol there somewhere. Uh, and in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. First time I came here and saw this Team Rocket person, I was like, oh no, a Team Rocket person. I was like, they're going to attack, and I didn't want to do the fights, so now I get to see what he says. Boss said he'll take this town in the name of Team Rocket. Oh, so they don't even fight anyway. Golly. you on your phone. Yeah, I don't know where it would be on the phone. Uh, if you click the video player, there might be a cog in there somewhere. Team Rocket, we've been cracking down on them, but they keep coming. Golly. Hmm? Don't you go thinking you can stand up to us, or I'll have to hurt you. Don't make me, lady. Don't make me. Oh, my. Lolly's guys. Hey, I'm a coach trainer. I'm alone to the fighting dojo. I'm a pretty strong trainer. Want to have battle? Bring it. Bring it, I say. Not an option to change badges? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know then. I know it's on PC. Sorry. Come on, Pikachu. This guy is dead in one hit. He's only level 32? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get him, Pikachu. Get him, Pikachu. The surefire hit move. This doesn't pop up when you don't play with motion controls. Dead. Dead. <laughs> yeah, Pikachu. Easy peasy. Oh, level 37. GG, Pikachu. Her Pokemon Way also got XP. Coach Aaron Leon is about to send out Electabuzz. Uh, do I want to switch my Pokemon? Yes, I do. I do, I do. Let's get out the Bulbasaur. Yeah, they're almost level 40. Come on, Bulbul. Oh, look at that Bulbul. Look at the cute Bulbul. Yeah, this Electabuzz is going to be able to do nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Uh, I'll hit him with Leech Seed just in case. Thunderous Punch of nothing. Ha! <laughs> nothing, I tell you. Really? Okay, I still was able to use Leech Seed. <laughs> During these paralysis. <laughs> Thank you for the hell. Much appreciated. Yeah, it took me about a little bit over five hours to get caught up to where it was. And then I just kept playing. Um, so, like, that's why I was able to do some of those extra fights and stuff. You know? So it was really like, oh, uh, when I realized that my save file... Like, I didn't save last stream. This <laughs> so unfortunate. I don't get, I just do not get how um, you can have a portable game, you know, and not have autosave on it. Like, I can understand on maybe a console game or something that's, like, you know, plugged into wall power, probably has a less likely chance of dying out of nowhere. But a portable game system, you kind of want it to be saving, like, all the time, you know? It's really such a shame. And he just paralyzed me again. My leech seeds will kill him, though. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm gonna leech seed him. I'm gonna keep on leech seeding him. Let's see. Yep. Razor leaf didn't work because I am paralyzed. <laughs> I got the win here, though. There's no way he's gonna out, out damage my, my uh, life steal here. Paralyze, it can't move. Duh. Dude, if I deparalyze the battle, bow. Golly, look at that! Look at that! 
getting them down. Getting them down one way or another. Never give up, never surrender, I say. Come on. Come on. Game kind of froze there for a second. It's not very effective. Oh, yeah, I ordered um, a new PlayStation 4 controller. Not that I necessarily fully needed one. Uh, the one I have, the battery kind of dies pretty quick on it. And they were on sale for like 40 bucks. And there was this really cool kind of see-through white one for 40 bucks. So I was like, all right. So I ordered it. <laughs> Didn't fully need it, but, you know, from time to time I play PlayStation games. You know? Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that. Just the control, yeah, just a controller. Uh oh. Oh, this is like a gym, gym. Oh gosh, I didn't realize this was like a gym, gym. I just thought I was gonna be able to like talk to the dude. Man, black belt Hitoshi sent out. Ooh, a fighter. Who would have seen that coming? Ah, <laughs> oh, zippy zap. Let's hit him with a little bit of the zippy zap. You know what I'm saying? Get him, Pikachu. Oh, who's a little cutie? Who's a little cutie? Hmm. Maybe I can kill him with a double kick. <laughs> He's thunder shock. Get him, Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah, look at Pikachu go. Just a cutie. Reminds me of, of Nibbles. I think the the Pikachus are guinea pigs in their souls. Oh my! Hiya! I have no fear for anything tough. I shatter boulders for training every day. Okay. Okay. See him shatter this. <laughs> it's gonna be easy. Send out Graveler. Ooh. My electric type is not going to do much against him. Time to pull out the squish squish. Shorts. Oh, gosh. The shorts. Not the shorts. That was the weirdest thing ever, man. That was the weirdest thing ever. Oh, no. Okay, good, good, good. I'm higher level, so that doesn't auto kill me. Um. Him with bubble beam. Come on. Come on. Bip. <laughs> Easy peasy, man. I will take that. Take that to the bank. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> Just heal up a little bit here. Just in case, because now I know I have to fight two. You know. Let's go. Bip. Oh, oh my. I hear you're good. I won't hold back. Oh. <laughs> you're challenged by Black Belt Hideki. Hmm. Do you think we can beat Black Belt Hideki? Ooh, Pikachu is this is right up Pikachu's alley. Ooh, I got deparalyzed my Bulbasaur after this. Mmm, just hit with a Thunderbolt, one shot it. It's just one shot it. Easy peasy. Bye bye. <laughs> Too easy. Your party Pokemon away also got XP. Growlithe group. Oh, nice. Growlithe's level 30. Nice. Oh, look at the sad face. Look at the sad facha. One bad thing happened. I kind of broke my chair. What? How, how'd you break it? Is it, like, completely unchaired now? Or is it, like, it kind of still works? I was, saying, I was looking out for some chairs to see if anything was going to be on sale. We'll see on Monday. I'd love to get a new chair. This chair is so bad. It hurts my back so much. Uh, I can kill him. 
Machoke. Machoke gonna get electrified. Sorry here about you, but man. That's always, it's always worse. One of the worst things, you yeah. know. Support broke, don't know why. Oh, so the back keeps going down? Might be able to like stick something in to keep it up. I wish my chair would break to make it like a dire necessity to have to then get a new chair. You know? <laughs> just make it uh, like, make it just be a little bit easier. Like, I don't like buying things, like, unless I, I really need them, you know, usually, aside from PlayStation controller. That was more of a, like, I got tired of plugging in mine, you know? <laughs> like, it's perfectly fine. But I was like, oh, but it looks nice. That's only $40. <laughs> Goes around, comes around. Enemies on every side. Let's find him. Karate Master. Mm -hmm. I am Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us. Expect no mercy. Fire! Yeah. So I got one over my uncle's that I own but haven't taken it yet. Golly. Hopefully it's not that far, and hopefully it has wheels. I can't believe how easy I'm gonna win this fight. Just saying. <laughs> oh, it was so hard. Oh, the difficulty level was was so so high. It was so unbelievable, so unbelievably hard. <laughs> Golly, at least we got through it. We got through it. Mm-hmm. We did. Galley. Hmm, indeed I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. Hey, Ice Wolf! Really? Has it been three months already? Gotta do dance. Thank you for the sub, man. Thank you for the three months. It really doesn't seem like it's been three months. It really doesn't. Golly. Ooh. Golly. Thank you, though. It really has been, it's been a great three months. Golly, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Three months older now. You swear it's been longer, really? That far, and does have wheels, but it's more of a transportation for it. Ah. We need to show you 400 for PS4 Pro with Red Dead Redemption 2. I missed it at 200. Standard with Spider Man. Mm. I mean, if you don't have a PS4 Pro, I hear that the new one, uh, there's two different PS4 Pros. Like, the new one has got a kind of see through case to it. Uh, I forget what model number it is. But it apparently is a little bit better than the other PS4 Pro. Uh, so if it's $400, there might be an upgrade there. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have one, you know. But, I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2, just hands down, I think it's worth it. You know. It's like, I think it's so worth it. If it's $400 and it comes with Red Dead Redemption 2... Such a great game, you know. Holding off, I have a gut feeling the regular one is gonna drop in price after Christmas. Uh, I could see that. I could see that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the pro I think is a little better than the the regular, but it's up to you. It's up to you, you know. I think $400 is not a bad price for PS4 Pro, though. And you're getting a game with it if it's coming with a Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, you got to figure Red Dead Redemption 2, $60. So you're paying, what, uh, $340 for a PS4 Pro. Uh, I think, what is it, got two terabytes in it, too? That's not bad. I just dropped 120 for games for a Kiwi streamer I like. Kiwi, uh, New Zealander? 
<laughs> nice. I was like, where, where are the kiwis from? Which one of these should I take, by the way? I don't know. Uh, golly. I think it's worth it, though. I think that's not a bad price. That's not a bad price at all. And, you know, you'll be able to play Red Dead Redemption 2 and PlayStation. Uh, most people have PlayStation, so at least you'll be able to play with, like, most people. You know, even Miss Kylie, she's got uh, Red Dead on PlayStation. You know, I was hoping to get a chance to play with her, but I have it on Oaksbog. I might have to rebuy it. Mm. Mm. Pick a number in the chat. One or two. One or two. I'm not going to tell you which one I've labeled in my brain with one or two. You just give me one or two, and that'll decide it. Two? Okay. I, I did it backwards. <laughs> Worth it, though. Kick, kick. Two plus two equals one. What? What? You are the hard-kicking Hitmonlee? Yes. Time PS4s are on sale on Black Friday. I don't got the money for one. <laughs> you chose Hitmonlee as well? Nice. Yeah, crazy thing, Ice Wolf. So, I lost all the trades, by the way. From Sunday. I lost everything from Sunday. Yeah. Life is good. But I got a whole bunch of, uh... I have a whole bunch of, uh... Mankeys and Sandshrews. So. You see, I, I restocked up on a lot of things. Oh, and when I played without using motion controls... So I got a bunch of Mankeys. Uh... And when you don't play with motion controls, it's so much easier to catch things. I was catching onyxes, I was catching a ton of stuff, and I even have a second Charmander, so... It, you know, wasn't all that bad, you know? Oh, there's a Sand Shrews. I caught a bunch of Sand Shrews. I think both of those are, like, exclusive, you know? A lot of the EV customs. Nice. Nice. I was trying... I was trying to get back to the starting area so I can get more of... Those Pokemon, I can't seem to find my way. There's where I can get you all. I'm awesome. Awesome. I should have more, you know, as soon as possible. You know, I was trying so hard to get caught back up. Like five hours straight, got through the tunnel, did a lot of stuff, you know. I was like, man, my daughter likes to mimic people. It's rather vexing. About PSN thing you pay for online. Pay it on Black Friday since it's cheap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most people buy it on Black Friday. Or at least that's why I know, yeah. Even uh, got an Articuno and a Zapdos. Oh, my. My daughter is so self-centered. She has but a few friends. Maybe she'll mellow down a little if you show her a Pokemon she likes. Is this your daughter? <laughs> Gotta go feed the cat. Okay, no doubt. Good luck. Okay. She's got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I dare if you post a picture of the cat in the Discord, Max Jam will definitely reply. Oh no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm. Quit mimicking, but that's my favorite hobby. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess I don't show her a Pokemon that she likes. Oh, maybe if I... So, she clearly likes Clefairies. Let's see. I do have one. Uh, add to party, move Pokemon. Okay, so I can't take it out of the Pokeball unless it's in my party. Mm. Switch out the Growlithe. How do I take it out of the Pokeball? <laughs> That'd be a good thing. Uh, no, I could do it from here. Take out a Pokeball! Yay! Oh, it's you here to mimic me again? You have a Clefairy with you. Do you want to show it to Copycat? Yeah. Oh, wow! A real life Clefairy! I've never seen one before. Thank you so much. You know what? I'll give you a TM that's your Pokemon create a copy of itself. 
Ah, substitute, okay. Tis move substitute. Let's poke back create decoy of itself by spending HP. I will never use it. Oh. Seems interested in plush toy. Yeah, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. It's like it's looking in the mirror. Um. Yeah, the growler threat. Yeah. Yeah. No! No! I messed up. I messed up. Okay. <laughs> Can I? Is there a way to make it? Like, add to favorites? If I remember correctly. Let's put you there. Add to party. There we go. Much better. Ha ha! Ooh! Hee hee! Alright, let's see what Pokemon should I have following me. Porgy. Mm, I'm gonna go back with Jigglypuff. I like Jigglypuff. I'm enjoying it traveling around. What do you want? Get lost, you little squirt! Uh, not a nice fella. Not a nice fella at all, if you ask me. I think I'm gonna get to gamble soon. Thank you for writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. You know a lot of powerful moves have already low PP. Maybe I should use this to give one moves a little more PP. Ooh. Copycat is cute. I hear she really likes Clefairy, so I'm gonna go show it to her once I catch one. Ooh. There's no grown-ups in that building. Unattended children, call up Child Protective Services. Ow, you jerk. Watch where you walk in, see? I don't know why I feel like that's how they should be talking. It's probably how they talk in the, in the cartoon, just saying. Why are they blocking places for? I'm a security guard, and I don't let suspicious kids in. Hmm. My life as a criminal makes me feel so alive. Does it? Does it? So there's supposed to be some basement to something. Saffron City belongs to Team Rocket. Rah. <laughs> Okay. Wait, don't say a word. He wanted this. How did he know that? That's exactly what I was thinking. I needed the TM Psychic. Wow. Wow. Guy's amazing. That guy's amazing. I'm amazed. With Silphco under control, we can sell Pokemon for profit all around the world. We'll get stinking rich. Yeehaw. <laughs> I like how I gave her like a base like yeehaw. You know, like not much energy behind it. Just, just a yeehaw. That reminds me though, I'm in the wrong city. I'm in the wrong city. Golly. Whoopsie. Whoopsie the doopsie. Is that some Clefairies over there? Eh. It was Jigglypuff, I think. And we're here. What do you think you're doing running around here? We're Team Rocket, don't you know? Uh, don't bother me none. Let me go heal my Pokemon. Before I forget. I like how still in this screen they use like the pixelated Pokemon pictures. Okay, let's see. I forgot to check. I did get some more clues. So let's see what we got. Uh, he's got a Diglett cap. A Diglett cap. It is not cute though. Close. 
Mm. The accessories. A bandana. I think we gotta go with a ruby bandana. Ears? Wait, what? Could put the bandana on his... On his... What? Let's, let's, let's see. Let me take the hat off. Oh! That's not as cute as I thought it would be. <laughs> so, Ruby bandana. Put on his back. There you go. Much better. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's not really a bandana. It's that's not a bandana. I beg different. Oh, I think there was a. Uh, I didn't do it yet. I was waiting for the stream. Yeah, here we go. All right. So she does. She tells like your future. Shall I see? Foresee the nature of those fateful allies. You have yet to meet. I will charge you just ten thousand dollars. Wouldn't you like to know your fate? Tell me. Well then, let me ask you a few questions. There are five flowers of different colors in front of you. Which flower do you water? Mm. Green. Green. Huh, I see. I see. Now. Among the five flowers I mentioned earlier, which one will you thin out if you have to? Pink? Understood. Now I will look into your future. What does it mean? Meeting, greeting, every time so fleeting. Hello, goodbye, every day beneath the sky. Nature, nature, wouldn't want a nature. Abracadabra, nature is so fabla. Sincero. Fate is guiding your path. The encounters you would have this day are likely to have, yes, a sassy nature. And now I'll take your payment. I wish you good fortune. A sassy nature. He does not get a PS4. Has to work tomorrow in like nine hours. Golly. What a future. Think you're doing running around here. We're Team Rocket, don't you know? Okay. This is my trusted pal, Polyrath. It evolved from a Poliwhirl when I used a water stone on it. Ah, I think I have a water stone. And I, I definitely have a leaf stone. Use these things eventually. I wanted to see if I can loot that thing. Oh! Hello, Meowth. Can I not take you with me? Oh. Being surrounded by my beloved Pokemon while enjoying some rest and a nice cup of tea. Moments like these mean the most to me. Oh. Meaningful moments. Uh, 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 uh. What do well, these people have to? I'm having a meeting with an important client. You want to join in? Sure. <laughs> Peter's not involved with that stone thing, I think. Ah, okay. Oh, boy. Must be nice working at a company where you don't ever have to wear a suit. <laughs> Would be nice. <sighs> Let me try to hold back the on. I'm so tired from the holiday. <laughs> Golly. Ooh, maybe these people want to fight. I'm a graphic artist. I'm the one who designed you. What's the person's name? Oh, they didn't give the person a name? That'd be cool if they, like, did a tournament and, like, you know, had the actual people's names. Welcome, Pokemon Trainer. Probably won't know what I'm talking about. 
but come back once you have earned a title. Okay. You own like one suit? Same here. Same here. Me? I'm a programmer. Okay. I'm the game director. I'm very happy that you're playing this game. Good luck with filling up your Pokedex. If you collect all the Pokemon, let me know. I wrote the story. Hey, tell me, don't you think Erica is cute? I like Misty a lot too. Oh, and Sabrina, I like her too. All right, dude. Is that a switch? Yeah, there's two switches on the table, switch there. <laughs> I mean, when they're making the game, they gotta test it out, right? You know, makes sense. I, I like, though, how the switch... Ooh! The switches on those tables... Ooh, three health candies. Nice. The switches on those tables look gigantic. You know? Gigantic. Just saying. In comparison to the real life... Big nope. Big nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to the next Switch, though. You know, as long as they don't change the game type, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, what do you want? As long as they don't change, like, the actual game type so you don't have to buy different games, you know, I'll be happy. Seen ads for Switches? A lot of money. Oh, yeah. Let's splash for some water. Please, please. Oh, Jigglypuff is happy. Handmade Pokemon accessories. Go take a look in the fifth floor of the department store. Everyone in there. Really nothing, nothing much in there. My coughing is the best partner ever. It spews out poison gas when it gets angry, but it's usually very sweet, I promise. She's the type of lady for me. She likes smelly things. I'll never be able to get to him. You've seen Ash Switches, though. A lot of money. Um, whatchamacallit. The next ones, I hear, are going to be the same price. So. A little bit of bright side? A little? I sometimes see suspicious-looking people in this game corner. I wonder what they're up to. Hmm. Oh, you have better things to do. Champ in the making. Still not city gym leader is Erica. She's one with nature and a user of grass type Pokemon. She might look quite beca quiet because she does flower arrangements, but she's not one to be taken lightly. Hey, what up, Spicy? Still a lot of money for me, anyways. I hear you, man. I hear you. PS5 is gonna be more worth the thing to get, probably, anyway, you know? My sweet star, you. It likes to watch people playing games. I would love to play the games. Games are great for improving your reflexes. Okay. The game in which Pokemon fly in the sky is great, isn't it? If we could fly in real life, that would be much cooler than the game, though. I don't know why he's talking through a loudspeaker. I mean, what the heck? What the heck? Phew, I'll take a little break. You'll need to take breaks when playing games. Ah, wise lady. Hmm? <laughs> I broke my high score. If only every day were like this. Hmm. Let's see. A vending machine. Do I already have this in my inventory? Hmm. I can't rob the lockers. Let's see what Team Rock guy's up to. You there. What? There's no secret hidden behind this post or anything like that. And where's my partner anyway? He was supposed to come trade place with me, but he's been ages in Lavender Town. Is there no way to get past him? I know there's something hidden behind there. I know it. We've run out of game coins. Also, please don't touch the walls in the game corner without permission. I'm gonna touch. I'm gonna touch him! What does it mean? What does it mean? I must touch all of the walls now! Oh! I found a health candy! Just hidden back there. What do you know? Hmm... I'm trying to touch the walls.
Found a courage candy. Why? Am... Found a smart candy. I'm just finding things on the ground right now. A mighty candy. What the? Is this a glitch? Is this a glitch? That's not a glitch? So I should be always searching the ground everywhere I go? Or is it just this place, Ice Wolf? <laughs> is this a non glitch? Watch Pikachu's shell. It goes slow, it will alert you when there's something. Okay. Huh. Thank you for the heads up. I should have been doing that like this whole time. I heard that's where I get the thing. It'll start shaking. Okay. I'm totally not just spamming A anyway, so I don't have to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, dear. Oh, Pokemon. Oh, no, this is a hotel for people. And we're full up, unfortunately. Yeah, Jigglypuff, yeah. Jigglypuff finds... That's why I keep Jigglypuff in some ways. Plus, I like the Jigglypuff. I came here on vacation with my brother and my boyfriend. Just the three of us. Isn't Seldon a beautiful city? Mm-hmm. Why? Why did she bring her brother along, too? Dude. How it happens. Yippee! I'm on vacation. My sis brought me along. She's the best. Aww. Two folks don't find five things, too. Golly gosh, there's a JR dose on the wall. Maybe I could get back there. Darn. <laughs> Where do I find the thingy I need to find? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if we offered Pokemon prizes to the top scorers, we could make even more money. Huh? What? Is I wasn't talking to you, kid. Hmm. Don't touch the posters at the game corner. There's no secret switches behind any of them. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Now I see. I'm gonna break my A button. Just say. <laughs> Why does my A button work? What are you staring at? Get lost! Either you leave or I'll make you leave. Make me? Oh, alright. Let's go to the restaurant, shall we? Grim, I'm hungry. Yep, everyone. What's up, Blue Fang? Ooh. My Pokemon are weak, so I often buy medicines at the department store, eh? Hey, you. Uh, hmm. Nom. You know what I heard. Seems there's certain floors in below the game corner. Golly, is everyone going to hint to it? Yeesh. I played so much of that game corner. Then my hands are twitching. Games are way too much fun these days. Hmm. I'll eat all the curry I could carry. <laughs> hey, a new face. Welcome. This place is always packed with regulars. Okay. One day I'll get past that. One day. Learn my secret ability. Jump. Let's see. Let's see. Southern City takes pride in its efforts to keep itself clean and beautiful, don't you know? And the area around the game corner is a different story, though. It gets a bit rough around here. Okay. Back to the game corner. Hmm. Hmm. All right, night, night, Blue Fang. Good to see you again, man. Hope you have a good day tomorrow. I see no switches. I 
Definitely not that one. Maybe it's one facing me? Hmm. No, see, you're in high. Maybe I didn't do something in Lavender Town? Maybe there's a Team Rocket per person I got beat in Lavender Town? Huh. I see the broken posters. Weird. Weird. <laughs> a berry. <laughs> Googling. Let's go. Hidden poster switch. Oh, uh, Rocket Game Corner. Okay. This is a budget. Of course, Eurogamer has like, please turn ad blocker off. Hmm. And Eurogamer is like the only one with like the actual info. Uh. I almost got to it. I'm scrolling before, like, the shut off your ad blocker thing pops up. At least I'm trying to. Okay, so I do have to get the Team Rocket guy out of the way. Uh... Pages. <laughs> All super techniques. Hmm. I'm gonna look it up on YouTube. I'm not seeing anything online. Other than the Euro Gamer thing, but I'm not shutting off. I'm not shutting off ad blocker just to read one post by them. Um, let's see. Go Pikachu part of the Team Rocket hideout. Part 12. How long is a Team Rocket hideout? Wow. Walk through eight. Wow. It's 
So I'm guessing the dude he's talking about is in Lavender Town. So I'll try and figure that out tomorrow. So let's go to the gym. Let's go fight the gym battle instead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's looking long. Like, I was looking at the time of those, like, videos there. And it's like 45 minutes per video and 13 videos. Golly. Team Rocket Hideout is crazy long, then. I don't think it'd be 13 hours, though. At least I hope not. I mean, it's one thing for the game to be nice and long, but golly, huh? Golly. Where's the gym in this town? Not up around there. <laughs> he was like, that's the mall there. That's a game corner. His music here is happy. <laughs> I forgot to be hitting A while moving. <laughs> My Jigglypuff has an adamant nature. It's easy to raise his attack stat, but not so easy to raise special attack. Double slap is real slap in the face. Ooh, golly. Okay. So they said that this is a... Um... Like a... She does things with plants. So I'm guessing... Crack out the fire. Uh... Yeah. Char! <gasps> this gym is great! It's full of strong trainers! Hopefully I'm right on this. Yep, plants! So, you haven't given up on getting into the Satellite City Gym, huh? Well, do you have a cute Pokemon with you? Better have a look to make sure. Uh, I do have a cute Pokemon. Huh, Jigglypuff? It's cute! Super cute! Can, can I pet it? Just a bit, please? Oh my. Oh my. It feels so good. I just want to bury my face in its belly. It smells so good. Too, I love it. What are they doing here? Fine then. I guess I have to let you into Salon City Gym. See it as you brought a cute Pokemon at all. Weird. Weird. Very weird. Erica Tukis has one here. Okay. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. I see you, and I'm coming for you, Erica! Ha ha! Skip that person. <laughs> huh? Ha ha? Ha ha? You're the one I saw earlier! I'll show you my cute Pokemon. Wonder which one it's gonna be. Challenged by last K. Oddish? Okay. He is cute. He is cute. It's gonna get burninated. It's gonna get burninated. It's only level 28. I'll just use Ember. My mommy eye on it. <laughs> Feel bad. It is cute. I'll give it that. Char! You're too rough! My cute Pokemon! Wow! <laughs> hmm. There can be chopped down. You want to use special technique? Yes! It should just do technique. Like. Why make a menu and, like, all this to kind of go through just to do, like, the animation, you know? An animation that in time you're going to be like, ugh. 
<laughs> this animation is so often. Golly. Yeah, I'll see what she's got. Dun, 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 dun. You're challenged by Beauty Mai. Okay. Execute. Oh. I have not run into this Pokemon yet. Let's make some hard boiled eggs. What do you say? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Those yolks are yoked, if you ask me. <laughs> Beating beauty, my. Sorry. Give me a break. Sorry. Execute. Isn't that how they sound? Like, execute. They're like, execute, execute. Hello. Weren't you peeking in here earlier? Yes, I was. Yes, I was, I guess. <laughs> Picnic or Tina? Howdy. They're all ladies. This is my kind of gym. Come on, Char Char. Time to burn. Level 29. I'll go a fire spin. <clears throat> Ooh. Gloom survived it. Stun Spore? Oh, come on. No, no. Ah! 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 <laughs> Man. Man. Char-Char hmm. got through that, at least. Go Char-Char. All right, let's see. Charger grew level 36. Nice. Still no uh, Charizard. It's going to probably be a very high level for it to turn into a Charizard, I'm guessing. 580 for winning. Making the money. <gasps> what? I stand corrected. What? I can't believe I just said it's gonna take a while for Charizard and then this happened It's like the game hurt me. It was like, oh, yeah, that's what you think. That's what you think. How about this? How about that? How about that the game just said what I Got a Charizard Data will be added to the Pokedex. Why thank you fire flying flame Pokemon when this Pokemon expels a blast super hot fire, the red flame at the tip of its tail burns more intensely. Mm -hmm. A freaking Charizard, man. Move wing attack? Let's see. What does it do? Dun, 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 ha, 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 ha. Struck with large, imposing wings spread wide to inflict damage. Uh... I'm gonna get rid of Fury Swipes. Yeah. So you have Flying Attack, two Fire Attacks, and one Dragon Attack. Bam. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I can't believe that happened that way. I can't believe that happened that way. Golly. So let's see. Let's see. Mm, take out a Pokeball. I think I ride the Charizard. I think I ride the Charizard. <laughs> yes. Okay. Maybe it can like move up things, like you know. Mm. Paralyzed, right? Yeah. Bip. Bippery boppery boop. Uri. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Look, look. See my Pokemon? I like grass type. I like how they're easy to raise. Hmm. I like the fire type, apparently. Oh, first time we get to see Charizard in a hat. Hmm. Aw, oh, cute little Oddish. Come on, Char Char. He's not as large on the screen as I thought he would be. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. 
Thought he'd be a little bit larger. <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> Charizard is the Opinus. We're versing these type of Pokemon, just say. Just say. Bulbul leveled up. That's a weeping bell. Uh, keep battling. Let Charizard go ham. Ooh, that's another exclusive, I think, right? Got it. Got it. Easy peasy. Also got XP. Nice. No. <laughs> it's what that's what she totally said in that way exactly yes chop it down yeah Pikachu get it I just want to check see if there's any pokeballs or anything no okay do 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 Ooh. Hi. What's your hobby? Yes, let's battle Pokemon. Oh, what a wondrous hobby we both have, I guess. I hope you don't mind me cracking out the Charizard. <laughs> Gloom? Hmm, that's, that one paralyzed me last time. Maybe use my anti paralysis. Mm. Level 29, I'm gonna go fire spin. Go on fire spin. Ooh! I've been trapped in fiery vortex. Nice! I don't use glad. Don't you? Don't. Nah. Oh, nice! It didn't. I didn't get paralyzed. Yay! Yay! Gotta love the dots. The damage over time, I call them. Oh, splendid! <laughs> I think that was sarcastic. <laughs> there was some a hint of sarcasm. Hello. Welcome to Celadon City Gym. You better not underestimate the nice ladies here. I don't. I appreciate them, but never underestimate them. That'd be wrong. You're challenged by Ace Trainer Mary. Hmm. Weeping Bell. <laughs> Charizard. Hmm. I'll switch it up to Ember. I don't want to run out of my other ability. Bam. Bam. Okay. Level 38, I see. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to switch. Do this. Ooh, though. I think, like, electricity works on him well. Or that. I cracked out the big dog on that one, though. Didn't want to risk it. Squish squid to level 36. I wonder when I'll get the Blastoise. 3,200 for winning that? Nice. What? How does this happen two times in a row? Oh my goodness. So I say, when, when my char, my char char, just the same fight and the same thing. And I'm like, I wonder when I'll get the Charizard and boom, it, it levels Charizard. And then this, I'm like, I wonder when we get the Blastoise. Wow. Wow. How? It's like the Nintendo Switch is listening to me. And it's like, alright. Alright, I got you back. I got you back. How does this happen? I wonder when I'll get a million dollars. I don't see it anywhere. But maybe it's here already and I just don't know it. Golly, a blast. Oh, he's... Oh, man. Wow. That is wild. That is wild. I can't wait to, to crack it out. Golly. Is that crazy? 
Crazy. Oh, hey! We don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. Oh, well, you're gonna be upset. You are gonna be upset. And I'm sorry. But you're gonna be upset. <laughs> Come on, Char Char. It's just a little plant. It's just a little teeny tiny plant. Use Ember on it. Bye bye, little tiny plant. <laughs> Easy peasy. Let's see. Bell Sprout again. I think we'll keep battling. I think we'll keep on rocking and rolling. Come on. Amber. Easy peasy. Oh, it is cute, though, the Bell Sprout. It is cute. Oh, another Bell Sprout. Hmm. Hmm. What to use? Oh, it's such a hard choice. Gotcha. Gotcha. Bye bye, Bell Sprout. Okay. Oh, sad face. Sad face. Hmm. Chop it down. Place is like an amazing maze. I'm amazed by the amazing maze and the maze and the amazingness. I feel like this is the right one. I feel like this isn't the right one. <laughs> the other one looped around there, I think. Just double check. Yeah, see? If I went the other way, it would have looped around. Would have been in the same spot down. I can't believe I got Blastoise and Charizard off of this. I almost went downwards there. <laughs> Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. <laughs> she fell asleep. Oh, dear. I must have dozed off. Imagine living such a pleasant life. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the gym leader of the Celadon City Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are all of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well. I shall not lose. Mm, she's in for a surprise. She's in for a surprise. Okay, Erica. Get ready for it to get unpleasant in here. Charizard! Roar! I come prepared with my very own dragon. Bip. <laughs> now it's gonna ask me, do I wanna switch Pokemon? What do you think I'm gonna choose? Hm. Easy peasy. Do 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 down. <laughs> it's music. It's music. Come on. Do, 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 do. Come on, Erica. Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh, my. It's one big mushroom. And he took that hit like a boss. Okay. Not very effective, at least. Ooh, and I got some damage on there. Okay. So I'll need to fire spin again, then. Ooh. Oh. Oh, nasty. Dangerous, nasty. Level 37. Another level. Wow. Wow. I'm flying through my levels right now. I must confer on you a rainbow badge. Yeah, Pikachu! 
Oh, cutest high five ever. The rainbow badge raises the level of Pokemon willing to listen to you. <sighs> so sorry. I'm just like, I'm so tired from the holiday. Oh, willing to listen to you to level 50 for Pokemon that you've received from other trainers. And here, if you like, please also take this with you. You got TM53 Mega Dream from Erica. Okay. What does that do? If the damage it inflicts is drained from a target to heal your Pokemon, wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? Okay. Maybe I'll give that to to Bulbul. Maybe. Don't think there's anything to loot there. But we got a thingy, my Bobby. <laughs> got the thingy, my Bobby. Oh man, I'm saving it. I'm saving it. Four out of eight badges. Not bad. Not bad. So we got that done. So let's go back to Lavender City to see. I got to find the Team Rocket person there, I guess, to open up the spot over here. Maybe I have to get a Team Rocket outfit to be able to sneak past that guy. What's this person doing? Oh, shouldn't I be able to reach the gym from here? No. Poor girl. Poor girl. Be -de 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 -de. Music's too happy. We need to go Lavender Town to bum us out. Oh, Pikachu wants my attention. I got you, Pikachu. What is it? Oh, he's so happy. We did it, Pikachu. We did it. There you go. Who's the cutest little Pikachu? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even. I can't even. Okay, so let's go to Lavender Town. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, you know what I noticed? It's letting me sprint downwards today for some reason. I hope I don't jinx myself, but I'm sprinting in all directions. Did they do an update or something to fix that? It's lovely to be able to sprint in all directions. It's just absolutely lovely. Maybe it did do an update, because I know it's set to auto-update. So it should be updating when I just have it sitting there. You know? Which would be great. Just great. They don't really release, like, patch notes or anything. Hmm. Oh, this way's faster. I haven't noticed that, like, I'm just sprinting, you know? It's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. It's so annoying every time to go down and then you couldn't sprint. It's like, what the heck? Like, what the heck, man? All right, let's see if we can find this Team Rocket guy. Well, that's a Route 12. I'm guessing he's gonna be in the tower. No Team Rocket here. But I just want to check everything. We'll go from bottom to top. Just make sure we check everything. Hmm. No Team Rocket person yet. None in there. Ooh, what'd you find? Oh, Found something that was dropped in the flower bed. Oh, it's a pretty wing. Oh, It was a cute little jigglypuff. The cutest little jigglypuff in hold the world. Hmm. Not in here. Dum 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 
Boom, boom. Where is Team Rocket? Where is Team Rocket? Maybe we got lost on the way to the place? Hmm. Definitely wasn't in here that I remember. Found an elixir. The medicine pocket. Found X attack. Oh my! Oh, Cubone! Cubone! Come out! Come out wherever you are! Well, I kind of already did this last time, so I don't have to redo this. Is there a sign of it? Is that? It's a ghost! He gets scared! He runs! But the fealty is unfazed. Ghost wants me to leave. The Cubone tells it to leave the fealty alone. Ha ha! Then it continues the switch. And it trudges away. Do these people fight me? I think they do. Yep, they do. They fight me. Oh, man. Why we gotta fight for, huh? Huh? Patricia! Why? Hopefully fire Pokemon work well. Let's see. Hmm. Burn it out. Ooh. Didn't hurt that bad, though. Oh! Fire Pokemon work. Fire Pokemon work confirmed. Jigglypuff grew to level 36. Aw. Ghastly. I'm gonna keep the fire going. I didn't start the fire. But it's always been burning since this game's been turning. Come on. Woo! Not bad. Not bad at all. She looks shocked. 1,000 for winning. <laughs> That's right. That is right. Might as well just sneak around here. I wonder where this Team Rocket person is. I can't sneak by this person. I think she's looking in my direction. Aha! Teleport! Ooh! Oh, Pikachu wants my attention. Oh! We're so gay! It's okay. Who is that cute letter? Let's see. I'm snacking. Snacking. Uh oh. No. No. All right, I, I didn't see Team Rocket person there anyway, so. Huh. Hmm. I guess back to Celadon City. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh! There they are! We came all the way to Lavender Town on the boss's orders! Oh, that's right, wait, wait. Where in the world is this old man Fuji supposed to be? <laughs> The only place left is that spooky old Pokemon Tower, right? That's right. We could get up to the top because of that strange ghost getting in the way. Hmm. No Cubone. Well, we couldn't find that old man, but at least we found this Cubone. Let's get it back to our hideout, at least. We'll have something to show for our trouble. Right. Let's head to the Rocket Game Quarter in Celadon City. Hmm. Oh, does this little Cuba want its mommy? Your mommy's in Celadon City. Come with us. We'll take you there. Oh, they lied to it. 
Now that's decided. I think we better blast off again. Mm, man. I I just saw something awful. Hmm. Did you see? Team Rocket abducted that poor Q-Bone. Sounded like they were headed to Cellbot City, but they must be planning on taking the skull bone it wears and telling it a high, selling it a high price. How could they? Time to save. So now I guess I unlocked it. Okay. Off we go. It's a good thing I finished all this already, though. <laughs> so small wins. It's a small wins that count and add up over time. Time after time. Okay. Through here we go. Took me a while to figure out how to find a T for those guys. And then when I found it, I didn't realize I had found it. <laughs> it was like running around a while. Oh yeah, I forgot to check. Can I ride my my Charizard? Hmm. Oh! <laughs> yes. Got a happy Charizard. <laughs> That's cool. Let's see. Can I ride the uh, the Blastoise? Um. It's like they're, it's checking out the buildings. Okay. Okay, charge har. Mm. Perfect. It even moves faster. Oh, too bad I can't fly the Charizard through here. Do 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 Riding a Charizard is the only way to live. Hmm. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Oh, okay. <laughs> Easy peasy. Team Rocket Grunt, okay. Okie dokie. Oh, I could use my Pikachu then. I wonder what type of Pokemon they're gonna be using often. Hmm. I should rest the Charizard to get all the abilities back. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> Easy peasy. Easy peasy. But blast. <laughs> you didn't see that coming. His face is still the same. Location Team Rock High is going to be discovered. Better tell the boss. Okay. I'll let him go tell the boss. I'm just going to go rest my Charizard before I start going in there. It moves so much faster. It's the only way to travel. Charizard is the only way to travel. I'm telling you. Look at those three gigantic Pokemon. <laughs> I'll always have the cutest little Pikachu. The cutest little Pikachu. Let's go. Let's do this. Hey, a switch behind the poster. Let's push it. Heard a loud sound echo from somewhere on this floor. 
Hmm, guess it's over. Oh my! There! Come on! Almost got it! Ah, so close! Come on, Jesse! Why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on! We. Oh, wait. oh come on! We're already handed over the cubo to another Team Rocket member! What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to hide out anyway? We just need to check the poster with the vehicle, I remember. It's a poster with a vehicle that's the best way to represent us. They really just gave me the hint after I already opened it? My oh my. Team Rocket Hideout. Okay. Alright, so it's very maze-like. I'm gonna switch to Pikachu. Go with the big dogs, you know what I'm saying? Perfect. Just gonna, just, you know, reorder it for visual sake. Surprise! You snuck into Team Rocket's operation. What noise! Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Team Rocket Grunt, what do you got? What do you got for me? A gold bat? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Easy peasy. Look at Pikachu and the cute little bow. Even though the game calls it a bandana for some reason. And it doesn't make much sense. Dead. Pikachu, what an adorable little thing. Oh. You know, once we start doing genetics tampering and stuff, someone's gonna invent a real deal Pikachu. Tell you. Should no move be forgotten and place outrage? Well, let's see. Mm. This becomes a dragon? Rampages and attacks for two to three turns, then becomes confused. Guaranteed accuracy. Hmm. Crunched up Targo Sharfang. You know, I'll get rid of Roar. I'll get rid of Roar. You know. Give it a dragon ability. Yeah. Hopefully I made a right choice. You're not getting going to get away with this, brat. Yeah, I will. Watch me, bro. Watch me. Ooh, Pokeball. Got five Ultra Balls. What? Let's check this way. Surprise! Who are you? How'd you get in here, kid? Golly. Show them how. With my skills. Another Team Rocket grunt. What does he got? Coughing. I don't know if electricity is the best room. We'll find out. He's got three Pokemon in this person, though. Golly. Yep. <laughs> yep. It worked just fine. <laughs> Ratata. I'll keep Pikachu. Ranity. It's cute. It is cute. Let's hit with a zippy zap. Guarantee first hit. If I can one shot, bada bing. I'm just heavily out leveling everything so far. All the other Pokemons. Got another ad tat. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. Mm. Maybe I should do it. Let me do a Thundershock. Just save some of the PP. Aww. Nice. Nice. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. He's like, what? Ow, we got beat bad. T Brocket said. T Brocket fail. Just checking. Trying to see if there's anything hidden behind that, you know? Hmm. Ooh, Pokeball. Oh, I see another Team Rocket person. <laughs> Looks like I could skip that person, though. 
Ah, I gotta open up the door somehow. Shh, I'm a beautiful spy on an undercover mission. What's a child like you doing here? Mm. Here at B Team Rocket. <laughs> You've got an attitude. I like that. Let me give you a present so you remember our little encounter here. Team Rocket set from a beautiful spy. What? Just wear that set, and you'll feel as if you're a Team Rocket grunt yourself. Although you're too short to be a real grunt, they'd figure you out you were in a disguise immediately. Oh, so there's no point in me wearing it then. I'm not going to put it on then. I'll take them all loud, I tells you. I'll take them all. Oh, maybe I can get through here, though, with it on. Let's see. Should I put Pikachu in one? <laughs> Let's see. Team Rocket Cap. Okay. Team Rocket Top. Team Rocket Shorts, not Shorts. Huh, anyone who's relearning the Shorts part. Apparently there's a kid character in the game. And nowhere was just asking, just kept on mentioning Shorts after Shorts and wanting to see my Shorts or something. Like, it was just weird. It was so weird. So really very weird. Team Rocket Bandana, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let's see if there's any switches hidden behind walls or something. I still have the option to go down the stairs, so. Can't call in the door opening, it seems. So maybe I go downstairs first. Do, 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 do. It didn't work! I heard that you could see ghosts with the silk scope. It didn't work! The outfit was useless! Team Rocket versus Team Rocket! A rocket on rocket crime! Oh. Get him, Pikachu! Aww. Oh. So adorable. Hit it with that zip and his zap. Don't tell back. <laughs> Ooh, really? Didn't kill it. Boy, the move. Noise. Mm. Thunder shock. Not that much health left in him. Don't want to waste the PP. Oh, it fainted. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Oh, he only had one on him? I surrender! Oh, don't kill me with your Pokemon! I just might. I'm changing my clothes back. Screw this Team Rocket outfit. Ugh! I feel disgusting in, in it. Just terrible. Should put the Diglett cap on Pikachu. I kind of like the formal hat. But I think I might go back to sports hat. And I'll go with formal hat. So cute. Mmm. Should go sailor tee. Formal tee. Naked. <laughs> it feels weird seeing Pikachu without clothes on now, though. And that feels weird to say that as well. Just feeling weird. Just feeling weird all around. Mmm. This is a formal cap and the Team Rock cap are very similar, just saying. Uh, kind of like going with the Pikachu hat. Let's see, outerwear. Kind of like this, but the yellow and red seems to clash. Mmm, let's go formal top. <laughs> Let's see. Sailor shorts. Formal shorts. Team Rocket shorts. Let's go formal shorts. 
Delicious. Let's see. Kind of. I think I'm going to go with sport shoes. Because it's got a little bit of yellow in it, you know? Got bags. Go with Pikachu bag. Perfect. All right. Oh, wow. Finally a maze. <laughs> All right. Let's figure this out. Oh, it's automatic. Okay. Where is it going to spit me out? So I can get this. Oh, an awakening. It's an awakening. Hmm. Ooh, rest. Go back around there. Go here. That'll bring me there. Hmm. Yeah, go this one. This one. Hmm. Let's do this one first. All right, I can do this one. I feel like, uh, what's that movie with the really fluffy robot? He's like, <laughs> Ooh, pee pee up. Nice. Do you ever get your pee pee up? Golly. Sounds so wrong. Uh. I think I got everything. Seems to be like the only way out of the corner here. Okay. Is that one Pokeball I missed there? Mmm. I see the stairs now. Let's see. Oh, I can go around here again. Got it. I'm gonna catch you, Pokeball. A nugget. Hmm. Okay. That one goes to there. This goes back. How did I get to that corner then? Hmm. Hmm. So take this this way. Now I'll get here. Hey, diamond girl! How's your, how's your week? How's the holidays? Hope all went well. Ah, here we go. Got it! Come on, game. Make a horde puzzle, why don't you? <laughs> oh, now I get behind the wall. I got it! I got it. Ooh. We was okay. Thank, thank, uh, Thanksgiving definitely made it better. Oh, you went. Uh, you hung out with the fam. He had a big party, ate a bunch of food, huh? Mmm. -hmm. I got some food in the fridge. It's good. I'm very happy. Very happy. Hey, watch movies. What movies you watch? Oh, oh, electricity, huh? Mmm. -hmm. Pull out the. I think Charizard would be good. But I know for sure that my uh, Bell Bell is gonna work. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Not very effective. Okay. <laughs> I'm still yawning so much because of that. 
<laughs> Ant Man and the Wasp. Ah. Spoder Man too. Which one though? The old old one? How is Ant Man and the Wasp? I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> I don't know if I saw the newest Spider Man. I know I saw like the first one. I don't know if I saw like the second one yet. Oh, he's man. Okay. My Pokeball. Hyper Potion. Hmm. Hmm. Surprise. <laughs> it's actually good. And yeah, it was the old Spider Man. Wow, with like Toby McGuire. Oh my. It's good. Those were. They, I didn't hate those. You know? For that time period, that was pretty good, uh, you know, nerd movie, you know? It wasn't half bad. It wasn't half bad. Golly. Yeah, I, I want to see that Ant Man and the Wasp. Forget the lady's name that's in the movie, but she's very pretty. I'm definitely not happy to watch a movie with her in it. Wasn't she in, like, the the Hobbit, like, the third one? She was, like, the, uh, the, uh, elf that, like, comes to save them. <laughs> She's doing, like, a fake American accent, too. Not sure I've never seen The Hobbit. It's pretty good movies. Pretty good set of movies. Long. Have you seen Lord of the Rings movies? Party Pokemon is waiting also for XP. Nice. She can't do it. She's given up. None of those either? Oh, that's awesome then. You've got like an awesome like movie watching night ahead of you someday. You know? It's like you get to live it for the first time. You know? That's pretty cool. I'm jelly. I'm gel-tastically jelly. Ooh, I think the, I take the elevator. They're really good, though. The Lord of the Rings were better than the uh, Hobbits, but they're really good. Does it appear to work without a key? Okay. Hmm. Just checking for the key. How many Lord of the Rings movies are there? Three. Three Lord of the Rings movies and three Hobbits movies. Yeah. <laughs> it's also three books. They're all books as well. In case you, you'd rather read or whatnot. Let's see if there's anything here. No. Hmm. Try watching Lord of the Rings? Why tried? Only succeed. Mm. Do it, do that. Mm. There is no try. <laughs> uh, where did, did I come from? The basement? Or did I come from up top? Let's just see and find out. Fell asleep, maybe during a binge. I mean, that's that's doable. That's possible. It's probable. You know, they're long. Like each one of them is like two and a half hours to like three hours. So they are long. You know. Like, I probably wouldn't be able to watch them now, like, all three of them without falling asleep. You know, that'd be a long sit down, you know. Uh, but when I first saw them, yeah, I enjoyed it. I saw them in the theaters. So I, I was really into The Hobbit. Like, I read the book, The Hobbit, and I, I was starting at that time read The Lord of the Rings. So, I was very interested. <laughs> Him with a thunderbolt. Some reading lately, yeah? Best, best time I always sleep well afterwards. Oh, I hear you. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Like, I keep yawning. I keep yawning. I, I'm so exhausted. Oh, Choo Choo leveled up. Oh, he's almost 40 now. Golly. Bull Bull. Oh. She lost. Was I busy? Oh, yeah, I had to reset up my whole computer and the whole stream setup. You know, for the holiday, I had to take it down so we can eat at the table. 
you know, so getting everything back together, you know. Ooh, a guard spec. Okay. Finding stuff. Finding stuff. How long did that take me? Most of the day. Most of the day. I had to take a run to the store to get some cigs. Uh, you know, long day. Long day. Long holiday. <laughs> you know. It took about like four hours, four or five hours to get reset up. It's wild. The most thing is the recalibration, like where my microphone sits. Uh, the lighting, you know, depending on where I have the lighting changes, like the green screen settings, you know, and can't ever really put it back exactly the same, you know, at the exact same angles and stuff, you know. Hmm. I guess I go here. Go around. That goes there. Ooh. It's been a long week, honestly. Oh, what happened during your week? Well, the holiday and everything. I'm looking forward to Monday, though. I'm going to take some time off of studying and really look up, like, the Cyber Monday deals. I want to get some stuff for Nibbles for a cage. And they usually do some, like, deals on guinea pig cage stuff. I'm going to look around for some stuff for my turtle. See if I can find him a bigger cage, uh, tank. I, I can't find, like, large, large tanks. It's really annoying. Um, like, I need something over 100 gallons, at least. You know? And then a stand for that, you know? So, it's taking a while. It's taking a while. And then other stuff I want to look into. Some tech stuff. See if maybe there's any upgrades or anything I can get. Video cards that are on sale or some, You know. Stress for a few other days, but I had to recalibrate. And I'm back into focus mode. Nice. Glad you got through the stress. I hope the whole stress thing's okay. Stress will, stress will wreck you. Just wreck you. That'll, like, when you're stressed and just, you know... That'll, like, that's why I think I'm tired. Now, always holidays are a little bit stressful, you know. Worrying if I can, like, clean the house in time and everything, you know. The whole week leading up to Thanksgiving, I was just cleaning, 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 you know. Then to have to take everything, the computer, two monitors, two keyboards, stream deck, audio setup. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, all the games on the table, all the controllers, you know, all the wiring, the entire lighting setup, which is a metal bar going up and across uh, with two lights on it, you know, and just knickknacks on table, you know, taking all that down, moving it into another room, and then the next day, putting it all back, you know. It's like, like I keep using that. I can definitely use it now. <laughs> That's downside. There's no other room to really fit everything, so... You know, you just gotta do with what you can. Ooh, a pee-pee up. A pee-pee up. A lot of unfortunate emotion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounds like great setup, but it sounds like... That. Yeah, I mean, if I didn't have to... Like, if I had it somewhere that was like more permanent it would be great but someday if i ever get my own place of course i've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time i found the key found the key you know one day i'll have my own place and then i will be assured to have my own spot in it you know oh. dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I don't know if I can electrify him. Let's see. I can, okay. <laughs> it is a great setup, though. I put a lot of work into, you know, 
getting it nice. Didn't go Black Friday shopping this year and it felt weird. I enjoyed not going after it. I'm happy you didn't, honestly. You know, it, it's really a travesty what those workers get put through. You know, retail workers, when I worked at Radio Shack, I had to be there at like five in the morning and it took me an hour and a half to get there and then like an hour to shower and eat breakfast. So it was like, I woke up at like two in the morning just to make sure, you know, cause then plus two at that time, you know, you never know if trains and buses are going to be on time and everything, you know, it's like, and they imagine those people, you know, they want to celebrate with their family and stuff, you know, I hope my boss is down here about this, man. How do I get up there? Without the key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. If you think you can get it back from up there, then I'd sure like to see you try. Okay. Golly. I have a friend that works at Walmart, and they had uh, to go in from like 9 to 6 on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's like there's no... There's no respect for the workers. Like, it, it's horrible. It really is. You know? People shouldn't be, like, treated that way. Just, like, used like that, you know? There's no the wall with warnings scrawled on it. Please don't let any Pokemon in the air vents. They climb atop the walls and wreak havoc. Step stool, some may be possible to reach up top from here. The chair! Golly. All because of Black Friday. Yeah. You know, it, I don't want to say all because of Black Friday. It's all because people shop on that day. You know, all Pikachu. If people didn't shop, they wouldn't open. You know, they'd be like, okay, good. Like, if people weren't shopping in mass on Black Friday, Black Friday wouldn't have gotten larger and larger. And if people would have stopped shopping at the crazy times, like 5, 6 in the morning or nine in the morning on Thanksgiving or the day after, then they wouldn't be open at those times. And they'd be happy to close on Thanksgiving because they'd be like, oh, well, we don't have to pay our payroll, you know? But for the fact that people are like, yes, let's go out and buy, you know? Then, you know, that's where things go downhill, you know? And then you got people not being able to stay with their kids on holiday, you know? It's a shame. It's a shame. And it's not like they're getting paid extra. They're not getting paid time and a half or anything. You know, like, it's like, it's like, what the heck? Did you hear something just now? I did. There was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? Never mind. Must have been Meowth's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing. Oh. I liked it better when Black Friday was actually on Friday. I remember waking up early and going out and waiting in line. Yeah, like, it, for me, like, I think it's understandable, like, doing, like, just normal hours for the store to be open. Just have it be, like, a normal day, hours-wise, you know? It's like, once it becomes, you know, this abnormal thing, then it's like, then it's gone downhill, you know? Once you got people not really being able to celebrate like a national holiday it's not like it's even a uh you know like just maybe a religious holiday that doesn't affect everybody in the country maybe you know not to downplay a religious holiday but i mean there's a national holiday that the entire country celebrates and we're just telling our fellow americans like no you don't have the right to to celebrate it you know it's like that's a shame it's like, that's, that's a hardcore shame. You know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Retail really needs to change. Hmm. Hmm. I think I know. Yeah, isn't it sad? 
And luckily this year my brother is in between jobs and same with his wife. So they were actually able to actually for like the first time in a long, long time, we're able to celebrate like an actual entire holiday. You know, usually my brother's been in retail for like 16, 17 years now, maybe a little longer. So, I mean, we're talking 16, 17 years of this, you know, where it's always like, oh, I got to leave early or I got to do this or that, you know, it's like, it's ludicrous, you know. Are you lost, little child? No, I'm not. No, I'm not lost, sir. Golly. But yeah, I do Cyber Monday, though. But then again, with Cyber Monday, then I feel bad for, like, the UPS drivers, FedEx drivers, you know? So, yeah. You know? No matter what, someone's getting screwed. You know? Quite often, though, I find that the deals aren't that amazing, though, on Black Friday. Like, you look into a lot of the models and stuff they're selling. Like, I was looking at uh, Best Buy, and, um... They had like Surface Pros. I'm like, wow, like $800, not bad. And then I look at what model it is and it's like the first gen, you know? I was like, what? How do you even have that? No, it was a four, fifth gen Surface Pro, first gen laptop, that's what it was. You know, so it's like, it wasn't anything amazing, you know? And it was only like $200 off of the total price anyway. So it wasn't like, Oh, like, I need to get here at 3 in the morning to get this, you know? And most places, I find, if they don't have it in stock in that store, they'll sell it to you, but ship it to you. Or maybe they'll ship it to the store, so you come back a few days later. You know, it's not like these things are, like, made to, like, you know, run out, you know? And, like, the best case scenario is, like, They'll have some TVs that say they're 4K TVs or whatnot. But then y you you look up the stats for it, and it's not. Like, it's, it's a piece of junk. It's like Insignia or some name you've never heard of. Like, they really just roll out the poop products, you know? So, and there really wasn't anything to go about. Yeah, like, that's usually what I find it to be, you know? It's just like an excuse, you know? It's that it's not like it was back in the day. Like, I remember there was one year that Apple was selling iPods for, like, half off. And, you know, that was crazy. You know, I remember we, like, when I worked at Radio Shack, there was these MP3 players that would sell for, it was $110, but on Black Friday, it was a SanDisk MP3 player. It was, it was pretty good. For like that day and age. That was when like the iPod still had the scroll wheel, you know. Um and didn't have a color screen or anything. You know. And uh we were selling that for like 75% off. You know? Like crazy sales. That's what like it was all about back in the day. You! You're the twerp from Mount Moon! Just how long are you gonna follow us around? I know I'm beautiful. But what do you want? Uh, rest the Cubone. What? That Cubone? Ha! We already gave that poor thing to the boss. It doesn't matter. There's no way we're letting you through to see the boss. It's payback time for those fossils from Mount Moon, you brat. I get to finally fight them. Yes. No one does their research for buying. They just end up buying. Yeah, they just see the price and then they see a few like keywords like 4K TV. What? Only a thousand dollars? I must get this. But then, you know, anyone who is worth their salt of researching will find out in like two minutes. No, that thing is selling for a thousand dollars because it's actually worth like four hundred dollars. You know, like <laughs> they're still making a ton of profit. That's why it's selling for a thousand dollars. Golly. It's, it's a shame. Oh my. Oh my see this is how i wish pokemon would be i want more 2v2s 3v3s i love this all right so let's go with thunderbolt mm. 
I know for sure it's gonna work on the Arbok. And then Squisqua. Let's crack out the Bubble Bean on... Let's try it on the Weezing. Let's see. Ooh, good. All right, get him, Squisqua. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, don't you glare at me with those eyes. Really? Paralysis? That easily? All right, that didn't hurt, at least. Okay. Mm. This Thunderbolt, the Weezing, I think that'll kill it in one hit. Uh, and then let's see if, if Squisqua does land a hit. It'll take out the other one. Come on. Oh, it worked. It worked. The plan is coming through here. 550 XP. Ooh, there you go. Get you that level up there. Get you that level up. Okay. Using jab. Ooh, that hurt, actually. Oh, nice. I did get the bubble beam off. Nice. 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 A two-round fight versus 2v2. There we go. Squisqua. Sorry, Pokemon. Easy peasy. Such a dreadful twerp. <laughs> There's only uh, one thing I saw that was actually a deal. It's iPhone SE. I'm an iPhone SE. I think I paid 150, but it was going for 79. Ah, okay. But I was so confident this time. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what their voices sounded like. <laughs> How unf infuriating! Don't let it go to your head just because your Pokemon were teeny tiny bit stronger. Exactly. And even if you did defeat us in battle, we're still bigger and stronger than you. Well, just use Bra Force and Uh oh. Eek! It's like Team Rocket's blasting off again <laughs> No Pikachu wants to talk. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Let's see. Let me give you a little snacky snack. There you go. There you go. Okay. See, I think she's doing better. Oh, is that the boss? Is that the boss? Isn't he a Pikachu? He's so cute. I was saying it earlier. Once we start doing genetic tampering, Guarantee you someone's gonna invent a Pikachu. Just one look at this Sylph scope, and it's plain to see. Sylphco definitely has a technology and skill Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. Humph. A machine that lets you see what others cannot be seen. Otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy. Still. Yes, this looks, this could do. Carry on, Archer. With your plans to take over Silphco for Team Rocket. Yes, sir. What is a child doing here? You listened in our conversation without saying a word? I don't much care for that. I'm Archer, an admin of Team Rocket, and I do not go easy, even on children. Oh my. No oh my. Ah, thirsty. Wheezing. Well, I know Pikachu can destroy that. Easily peasily. Fight me, bro. I know, right? Look at your baby. That's how I talk to Nibbles. I'm like, who's your cutest little poop? Who's the cutest? Who's the little fluffy fluff? Booju booju booju. What? No no, no no. No. 
You used to do that to your fish? Oh, Fish are really a lot smarter than people say. There's a lot of different types of fish that'll remember you and like, you know, follow you around and stuff. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And yes, I have a Charizard! Golly. It's about to send out. I didn't see what it said. I'll keep Charizard then. Golbat? Okay. Who's a cutie and fish would get all excited in the ball? Oh. Oh, that did not work as well as I thought it would. Okay. With that dot, it's doing more damage, at least. Let's see. Fire spin didn't do much. Let's try Dragon Rage on it. Worked a little better. Worked a little better. Is that all you got, bat? Let me tell you something, Batman. I'm going to shoot you with the embers. <laughs> For I was born in the dark. <laughs> got him. Not bald. He wasn't a hamster. Bowl, bowl, yeah, yeah. I figured you meant bowl. I, I was picturing like this, the, the circular kind of like bowl kind of tank thingy. So I was like, that's why I, I figured. <laughs> I used to have some hamsters. What a planter. That's right, get out of here. You can't beat a child. For, forgive me, Giovanni. For, for me to be defeated by a simple child. Doom, doom, doom. It's time to bring our Pikachu back to life. Back to life. Back to reality. Potion. 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 I gotta cue that paralysis too. Let's just get all charged up. Okay. Paralyze heal. Yeah. One hamster though, but it was either fish or nothing. Aww. That's unfortunate. See, I got hamsters because my parents wouldn't let us get anything large. Like they didn't let us get large animals. So it was like hamsters was like the largest size animal we can get. Uh, that's why we also had like a toad. We had some Florida animals were little tiny lizard things um, Like of course as a kid I wanted a dog but my brother was allergic and then I found out I was allergic So it's just like all downhill Let's See what he says. Forgive me Giovanni. Okay Giovanni So you defeated Archer I must say I am impressed you got here Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. Maybe I should do like, eh, they're an important tools for keeping a criminal enterprise going. Oh. <laughs> and I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. Yes, see. Oh, what? I like dark, deep voice better. What? You want me to release the Cubone? <laughs> you came barging into our hideout just for that? What an amusing child. But for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Hmm. Hmm. Let's kick his tickets. Just kick his tickets. Team Rocket Boss Giovanni. Okay. I can electrocute that. Anything with fur. Let's singe it. Singe it. Auto mod? It didn't even pop up for me. What'd you say? Did you say, what's in the box? Oh. It made me flinch? Mm. <laughs> Slash? Oh. Let's hit with a zippy zap. Just kill it nice and quick. Did have a dog when I was younger? Ah. And it was like, no, you can't say this in the chat. How dare you? 
<laughs> Golly. I'm, I'm jealous of people who can have dogs. Is that a rye horn? Okay. Switch to the squish squish. The squish squish. Oh, Pikachu. Come on. He doesn't know what's about to hit him. He doesn't even know. He don't even know. I can't do it. I used to be able to really go high pitch with that. Dog show and Thanksgiving after the Mace Parade. So many cute peppers and doggos. Yeah, I don't bother watching. My mom watched the parade on Thanksgiving. I heard it in the background. I can't. I can't. What? This can't be! Yes, it can, Giovanni. Now give me the silk scope. So I am too am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that cubo. And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. Hmm. I may be a child, but my Pokemon are strong. I could see you raise Pokemon with utmost care, but you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. Mm. Mm. But I hope we will meet and battle again. I know we will. And the keyboard's just running ahead. Headed back to Lavender Town? Okay. Nice. Let's find out the identity of the ghost. Mm. <laughs> well, I like watching it. Uh, well, the parade, it's more so, it's like... Best way to explain it, it's fake. Like, oh, look, a flying balloon. That's like, that's cool. You know, I do like seeing the live bands like, uh with all the horns and stuff, the marching bands. But, like, any people singing and all that stuff, it's all fake. They're not singing, they're lip-syncing. So what do I want to see them lip-sync for? You know? I don't, I don't care about them lip-syncing. I don't want to see that. I don't even watch those shows that are like, lip-sync battle! Yeah! Watch this really famous person lip-sync battle! What is that? Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and this machine. Do you want to know the details? Yeah. Okay, if you insist, this machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say that this is a secret technique. Even though I work really hard on this, nobody wants to try. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this machine. The secret technique, Sky Dash. Oh, that Pikachu wants to fly my invention instead of you. Great. It matches my inspiration perfectly. All right. Let's get let's get right to it. Hmm. Do this and that. Hold this handle and pull. Then that'll be like that. And these balloons, you're in the air. <laughs> Sky Dash. I guess I can travel everywhere fast travel like. Your secret technique, Sky Dash, and you can fly to a town you've been to. Select play what you choose in the main web menu, then select secret techniques. Okay. You would have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips through the sky. Okay. I mean, it would be cooler if I could just fly my my Charizard around. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, look at this beauty here. Look at this beauty. It's amazing. They actually talking about it on Twitter. I think John Legend was saying that they can't even load live equipment on the float because of weight. Yeah, it's just, it's all a sham. I skip on that. What is that? I just wait since I saw someone dancing a little while ago. Aww. Oh, he's gonna get a tickle. Oh, you, 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 you. Let's see. Sky Dash. Hmm. Like, there was one person, my mom was watching, and she told me about it. 
that there was some uh, singer, a female, and she, like, was so off with her lip syncing. Like, it was really bad. She kept on trying to touch, like, hold her ear, I guess, to hear the recording better. But it's like, come on. Like, rock and rollers, heavy metal people, like, real musicians, they get up on stage, they can play, they can run around, you know, like, <laughs> I mean, Bruce Dixon, lead singer of Iron Maiden, is sprinting around the stage, waving flags, you know, having fun with the audience, all the guitars are flipping their guitars around, you know, going up to the audience, high-fiving mid-riffs, you know, and you can't even stand on a moving car and sing to your song that doesn't even really have a high level of skill to it anyway, you know? Like, these people are having to put in everything in their live shows, and you can't even do that, you know? But that's how all the pop music is these days. Even when you see them at their live show, they're lip-syncing most of the time anyway, or they have, like, four or five tracks of their actual vocals playing, and they are singing live, but it gets masked by this, like, sea of tracks of their voices, you know? So why watch it? I don't watch it. I don't like supporting stuff like that. Nope. Nope, nope. <laughs> but on that note, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to do a quick review for today's gameplay. Um, and then we'll be back tomorrow. I'll call it a night early just because I'm so exhausted. Uh, but we'll be back tomorrow. I'll try and get on as early as I can and do like an uber long stream of the game. Uh, so if you're watching this, I'm going to clip this and put it on YouTube. If you watch it on YouTube... Uh, click like, leave a comment if you're watching Twitch, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, follow, all that if you want to. Uh, I stream Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. We do playthroughs, and then we do a review at the end of every playthrough. And if you're watching, you can talk in the chat, and it pops up live in the review. So check those out, and I do it every day. So if you want to see part two and part one of this, go check it out in the YouTubes there. If not, uh, come on by sometime. Just try and grow a community. Nice laid-back conversation and uh, playing games, and then talking about them. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go.